Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to set up Fastboot and ADB using Android Studio on a Windows computer. As you know, Google recently changed the name of their bundle from SDK Tools or ADT Bundle to Android Studio. And the way to extract Fastboot and ADB slightly differs from the old method which I usually use in all my routing and unlocking videos. So let's quickly dive in and set this thing up. After the setup is complete, I'll show you how to test to make sure both fast boot and ADB are working to cover all ends. All right, so the first step is to go to my website post for which I will leave a link in the description below and go to this post right here and simply go to step one. Now, when you click this link right here, it's going to take you to Android developer tools. So which is renamed as Android Studio. What you're going to do here is you're going to skip this entire download. Okay, this is a huge 800 megabytes file that you do not need. All you do is you click other download options. That's going to take you down to SDK tools only. And then from here, you want to download where it says Android SDK, blah, 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 dot zip file. So click that, accept the terms and simply download that file. And I just want to let you know while that is downloading, this Android Studio is here as a complete suite so you can actually program uh, Android apps okay so you get a code editor and you get a compiler you got templates and everything so you do not need this to grab fast boot or ADB you simply need the SDK tools on under the other download options alright so once the file is downloaded this file right here just make sure you unzip this using one of the unzipping utilities I use 7-zip because it is free and it's fully functional so just extract that to its own folder alright so what once it is unzipped all you do is you go into the folder it's right here and you keep digging in until you find SDK manager you launch this executable file and what's gonna happen is this window is going to pop up let me just put this aside over here. I want you guys to see something as it happens. Okay, so once this is completely loaded, you want to click deselect all. Okay, and then all you want to select is Android SDK platform tools on the top under tools. Click install package, and over here, simply accept the license and then click install. Now, as you can see in the folder in the background, a new folder called Platform Tools just popped up. So this is in fact the tool. We can close this and we can close this. But this is in fact the tools that you need. This is Fastboot and ADB right in here. Okay, so you can see Fastboot right here and you can see ADB right there. And then basically what I usually do is I take this folder right here, I push it out, and I just rename it to fast boot ADB and then 90% of the time everything that you need to do happens through this folder so if you have any super SU files if you have any custom recoveries such as TWRP or clockwork mod recovery they go into this fast boot ADB folder and then from here you can launch the command prompt which you do what you do is in anywhere in the white space within this folder uh, first of all press and hold shift on your keyboard and then right click on your mouse and then click open command window here and that makes sure that every command that you're running um, is fast boot and ADB enabled now the next step is going to be that we're going to connect our phone our Android phone to our PC using a micro USB cable and we're going to run some commands now before you do that you have to make sure you enable USB debugging under developer options on your phone which I'm going to show you how to do right now alright so before connecting your phone to your computer make sure you go into the settings of your phone and this applies universally to all Android phones what you want to do is you want to go into the about section of your phone and uh, it's going to look a little different in every other phone but you want to find where it says the build number in the case of HTC One M8, you have to go into software information and click more, and you're going to find the build number. 
and you do have to tap the build number seven times to enable the developer options menu okay mine is already enabled so it's gonna say that it's already there but uh, in your case if you don't have it enabled it's gonna say tap it a couple more times to enable it and once you do enable it you basically go back into the standard settings screen and all the way at the bottom you'll see something that says developer options you tap that click OK and then scroll down to where it says USB debugging and make sure the checkbox is enabled which is going to allow you to run ADB commands uh, using your computer alright so after you have USB debugging enabled what you can do is you can go ahead and you can connect your phone to your computer using a micro USB cable so let me go ahead and do that right now and I'm gonna switch over back to my computer I'm gonna show you guys how to run how to make sure ADB and fast boot are in fact working alright so here's the fast boot ADB folder that I just created go right in press and hold shift on your keyboard anywhere within the white space right click on your mouse and choose open command window here okay and then on the command window the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that ADB is working so you type in ADB devices and what's gonna happen is you're gonna it's gonna say a list of devices attached and make sure you see a number and device next to it so the next thing I'm gonna have you guys do is I'm gonna use the ADB command to reboot the phone into the fast boot mode so all you gotta do is you gotta type in ADB reboot boot loader alrighty and once you press enter your phone is gonna restart if you take a look at it and it's gonna go straight into the boot loader mode but it's gonna automatically launch the fast boot mode now once you're in the fast boot mode all you have to do again type in fast boot devices press enter and you're gonna see the same exact thing you are gonna see some random numbers and fast boot right next to it and that means your phones uh, fast boot interface is actually working so what you want to do is finally just type in fast boot reboot and once you do this your phone is simply going to restart and go back into the regular um, Android system all right, so basically this is the newest way to get the newest versions of Fastboot and ADB on your computer using Android Studio. And as you can tell, we did skip Android Studio and we just go to other download options to save uh, space and time. But that's all you need to know.